So now I'm going to take this problem and just kind of move down here to a second question. If I had rounded this all off and said my pendulum was 0 0.25 meters, how much of an error would that end up giving me over the course of a day? Well, I'm going to use my equation now that talks about the period in terms of 2 pi the square root of L over G. And I'm going to plug in this shortened rounded off version. When I solve this, what I see is that I've got a period not of one second, but 1.0035 seconds. May not seem like that's very much of a big deal here. But one day is 86,400 seconds. So I'd expect this pendulum to have 86,400 ticks. But the ticks on the clock are going to be that total amount of time divided by the time for each tick. And when I do that calculation, this clock is only going to tick 86,098 ticks in that one day time. So that means my clock is slow by over 300 seconds, or five minutes off every day. So if you had a clock that was five minutes slow every day, you would be getting a new clock. And this is why clocks that work on pendulums have to be manufactured so precisely. So I hope this helps explain pendulums a little better.